Yeah, make sure it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. You can tell in the frame we're not cracking. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brian. I'm here with Israel. Uh, Vince is sitting this one out. Uh, today we're going to go over kind of a short list of things that are metal albums are coming out the first quarter of this year. Um, so I'll read a kind of a curated list of that. And then I know there's a lot more coming out that you know, Tons. is not on this list. Tons. But, uh, and also I kind of want to give you an update on the metal swap meet. Uh, we should have a, a band announcement very, very soon uh, for the next one, which will be in October. Uh, what date do we have on that? October? October 15th, I believe. 15th, yeah. 15th. I know it's a... Check the calendar. So it's like the third Saturday of October? It is. Yeah. Let's see. October. Yep. Nope. Sorry. 15th. October 15th. Yeah. Saturday, October 15th. Yeah. And, uh, Market. Yeah, so we're going to have a band announcement for that really soon. Maybe even before I release this video. Hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we have Evil Dead. Yeah, we have Evil Dead. And... We got another band coming soon, hopefully this week. Yeah, and maybe a couple more surprises. We'll see. The band is confirmed, and they're kind of a bigger band, so I'm excited about it. Um, and also, I'm putting together a video of uh, just a lot of footage that our buddy Gabe took of the Metal Swami from uh, 2021. Um, just kind of turning that into a video for you guys to enjoy. Uh, there's a lot of photos and video, some live footage. All the uh, all the audio is from the bands playing. Cool. Um, some of the audio is not that great because it's you know <laughs> just somebody walking around with their camera. But it's raw. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, so I'll go through it month. The, I'll do the go over the first month. You can let me know if there's anything you're excited about. Oh. And again, this is like a list of things I just like picked out that I thought was interesting. So for January, we have Atrocity with a, an EP. Uh, Lordy is coming out with a yeah. full length um, called uh, Human Humanimals. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen them, they're kind of a guar. Yeah, kind type. of guarish. The sound itself is not like guar. They sound a little more like Kiss or uh, you know that type of, of, of band. Really entertaining live for sure. Uh, but really cool that they're they're coming with some something new. They're from uh, Finland, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Um, so Tokyo Blade is coming out with a new album. Oh. Uh, you know, New Wave of British Heavy Metal. Mm -hmm. uh, the album's going to be called Fury. Uh, Boris from Japan coming out with an album. Uh, I'm not really... I've heard them, and I think it's kind of a, over my head. Mine too. <laughs> Definitely over my head. Um, here's a throwback. Jethro Tull is coming out with a new album. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Zelda game. All right. Uh, another new wave of British heavy metal, Praying Manus. Oh, I haven't heard of them. Coming out with one. Here's another old school band, but uh, uh, they're, I think, American thrash. Lawnmower Death. Lawnmower Death. Oh, my God. That, uh, yeah, that takes yeah. me back. So they're kind of like known as, like I think, Dan Seagraves, some of his first album covers. Okay. And Steve Vai with a new album. Steve Vai, okay. Uh, I think he comes out with a new one pretty, every couple of years, right? I think he's uh, yeah, been I think pretty he's active. Never ending, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never stops. Uh, really surprised that the uh, Atrocity is coming out with uh, with something new. That's uh, really surprising, but that's cool. They're they're still active, so that's that's really awesome. Yeah. Um, definitely want to check out the new Lordy. I haven't I haven't heard anything new of theirs in a long time. Um, but uh, yeah, Atrocity, Lordy, and uh, even Lawmore Death. Lawnmower Death is kind of the one that's most <laughs> interesting to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a band. I don't know if they've done stuff recently, but I haven't really even heard that name in so long. No, me neither. It's been, um, it's been forever. And also, we got like some new lighting here. So let us know what you think. Oh. Does it look better? Because uh, it's like less harsh on our eyes, but it's brighter. So let us know how it looks. Yeah. We look younger, better, <laughs> worse. Yeah. yeah. Should blur our faces. Let us know. It's like more glam rock looking. <laughs> So February is a little more fill, full, which is traditional. January is kind of a lull for new releases. Uh, start off with a new Saxon album. Mm, okay. Well, Carpe Diem. Seize the day, baby. Which they're kind of like, uh, with the Latin thing, aren't they kind of behind Exodus? On <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't get excited for new Saxon albums, but maybe some people do. You know, the, the last one they put out, there was a couple new, a couple good songs in there. Yeah. Um, 
nothing super, you know, great. It's always it's, trying to be this anthony like, yeah. sing-along shit, right? Right. Yeah. 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 It's sexy. Right. Um, Corpse Grinder, solo album. Ooh. I haven't heard that yet. I think there's one track out. There's one track out. Yeah. Right. So. Um, so it's his self-titled debut. I wonder what it's going to sound like. <laughs> there's probably some Fuck the Alliance thrown in there. <laughs> uh, so Melodic Death, or melodic Black Metal Band, Mystic Circles coming out with an album. Yeah. Uh, Ab- Abysmal Dawn is coming out with an EP. Okay. Um, you know, French to the North. Uh, Corn. Ooh. Called Requiem. You know, you know we're excited about that one. Right. We're, we're, let us know. We're, we're talking about maybe doing a um, like a reaction video. <laughs> we might have to do it live because it would probably be pulled because of copyright. Yeah. Uh, well, let, let, us know, let us know if you think you'd like to see that. Hey. Or would yeah. that be nails on the chalkboard? We got to do some stuff that we're not you know usually involved with. Why not? And if we hate it, we're going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Abyss Madonna, Corn, uh, Amorphous, a new album called Halo. Definitely, uh, well, I want to check that out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of highly looked for. Uh, Cult of Luna, the sledge band mm. uh, called The Long Road North. That's an album coming out in February. Uh, Voivod, uh, Synchro Anarchy, coming out in February. Uh, local Boy, Boy, Author and Punisher. Right, Boy single, right? Yeah. Look, uh, one man boy band. One <laughs> That happens to do this like a uh, electronic doom kind of thing. Yeah, never yeah. got much into that. I, again, something bit way yeah. over my head. Um, that is kind of cool live though. This this weird machine it... he made. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Napalm Death coming out with an EP. Uh, I guess I don't even give a name because they always release something. It seems feels like every year. Yeah, didn't they uh, come out with a new album recently too? I think it was pretty recent. Yeah, maybe about a year ago. Uh, Night Rage. Uh, mm. Abyss Rising. Uh, there's an Annihilator co- album coming out. It's called Metal 2. I guess there was a Metal 1. A compilation, I'm guessing. It's. I don't know if it is. It, it feels like a lot of covers, oh. a lot of guest appearances. Um, Alexi Leho is mm. on it from Children of Bodom. Uh, Lips from Anvil is on it. And Jeff Loomis. Might be interesting. Yeah. I think it's probably gimmicky, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this big one, Immolation, Acts of God. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm uh, waiting for that one. For yeah. Sure. I think if Vince was down here, that'd be the one he'd be like, yeah. that's the only one I want to hear, but we'll see. That's the one I want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one. <laughs> uh, then for the, to round out February, um, some power metal, Hammerfall. Hammerfall, yeah. I want to check uh, that out. The album is called Hammer of Dawn. Hmm. want to check that out. So we'll see what another Dawn right. is. Yeah. Abysmal Dawn. Abysmal Dawn, too. Abysmal the, Dawn? Yeah. The Hammer of Abysmal Dawn. Oh, that'd be a good, t- good title. <laughs> so, any of those? Uh, yeah. Amorphous, you want to uh, check out? Down for the Amorphous, for sure. Uh, Abysmal Dawn, also. The last album they put out, I believe it was like two, three years ago. Really, really good. Yeah. Uh, I want to check out the Corpse Grinder. Hey, yeah, I know. No. That's kind of a curiosity. Yeah. It's like, why not? I don't, I don't know who the, the lineup is. Me neither. I know that the, the, the song they put out, uh, I think Eric Rutan's in there somewhere. It might be just him and Eric Rutan. Huh? Could be. I don't know. I know Eric Rutan can't play drums. <laughs> you can't? So, yeah. Oh, okay. See. Yeah. Uh, the Hammerfall, for sure. Yeah. Immolation still has got to be kind Immolation's of... Immolation's the top. The last album was just so... Oh my goodness. So savage. Yeah. It was best album of that year, I think. But, uh, so March. Uh, Sabaton, which is... A huge name in the metal world. Yep. The War to End All Wars, which makes me think it's going, st- still staying with the World War One yeah. theme. They're not done with it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot uh, to pull from there. There is a lot. Uh, so March, since it's a l- little ways away, there wasn't a, a ton of new releases announced yet. Uh, another one is Crowbar. Oh yeah. Uh, Zero and Below. Uh, That's gonna be good. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. Uh, new Dark Funeral album, mm-hmm. We Are the Apocalypse. And Animals as Leaders is putting out an album. Mm. So that's all kind of, I kind of got, that's just like kind of cherry picking from the first quarter, uh, mm-hmm. first quarter of a year. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to expect for the, even the rest of the year. Yeah, it, a lot of bands have been working on a lot of stuff, so that's, that's really good. So we should see some 
good stuff coming out this summer. Yeah, I saw Frozen Soul is like uh, going to be entering the studio soon, uh, which will be cool because uh, they were in my pretty high on my my, my list from last year, mm-hmm. and uh, they I don't I don't know like I don't know if their sound is even sustainable. Yeah, uh, it's a really good band. It's a great band, but yeah, but. I guess if they're pulling from Bolt Thrower, Bolt Thrower kind of evolved over. They did, yeah. Over the albums, yeah, the final, even the the, the later albums towards the end before they, you know, after or before they broke up, were you know sl- definitely different from from you know the early stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I like that evolution, that chugga chugga kind of you know mid pace uh, sort of metal, sort of death metal that that kind of defined their they dis- define their own sound. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of bands or older bands that I've seen on there putting anything out early in the year. So maybe we can see something uh, later in the year. Uh, kind of yeah. like we did last year where a lot of the older bands bust out new material. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Like, you know, now, now that everybody does like their top albums of the year, it's like, why put out your album at the beginning of the year? Because you'll get forgotten about. <laughs> Which I'm sure Cause... we forgot a bunch of shit that yeah. came out early last year. Yeah. I know I did. Yeah, it's a... Uh... There's that whole strategy. Um, and then there's the whole thing with the, the vinyl shortage. Like, you know, you hear about the six months, a whole year long wait for your, your vinyl to be pressed. Yeah, that is crazy. So you really kind of like got to put your order in probably while you're recording or uh-huh. even before you start recording. Yeah, I just saw a video maybe like an hour ago from Snowy Shaw who had an album supposedly to be out uh, at Christmas. Um, and nope, nothing. It's It's getting pushed to February because of the plants because the pressing plants don't uh, have any stock they can't keep up so yeah um, I guess it's good if you're a, if you're a, a pressing plant but uh, yeah I mean the, the prices reflected in the price of the records are expensive yeah. as hell now <laughs> they are pricey yeah they're expensive <laughs> they are pricey especially for vinyl uh, what else are you looking forward to this year Mr. Parker um uh, some shows. Uh, I'm going to the Hell's Heroes Festival. Yes. Uh, that's in April. Uh, uh, cattle decapitations coming this month, January cattle, 18th. 18th? Uh huh. Yeah. January 18th. The obituary, I believe, is early February. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, some good shows to kick off the new year. Hopefully, the, the pandemic stays put and we don't, you know, stuff doesn't get shut down. Um, yeah, we're going to um, be judges. On the, oh, yeah. the the whack and metal battle, whack and metal battle, San Diego, San Diego, uh, February twenty sixth. We're gonna be there. Uh, so if you want to bribe us, yeah, the band's yeah. <laughs> like throw some like uh, throw some, leave some beers at the door. <laughs> yes. So like with a bunch of your band's t shirts yeah. and uh, we'll know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So we'll be judging the whack and metal battle. So we'll be uh, dashing somebody's dreams and making others come true. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I. I judged it like 2020, like mm. right before the pan, like right when the pandemic was like almost about to hit. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. Cool. Uh, so yeah, happy to be part of it. Uh, I'm looking forward for the to the swap meet. So we're as you can see, it's January 4th today, and we're already uh, hard at work with it. Yeah. Uh, Bender spots will be on sale soon. Rest of the bands will be announced, and we'll be we'll be feeding information as it comes to us. Um, but uh, yeah, full we're, we're going on full on all motors for the metal swap meet. So you know, yeah, stay tuned. Starting early. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and uh, I don't know, call it here. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Keep it on metal swap talk. Brian Israel, later. That light's a little bit hotter though. You I kind of feel the heat coming out of the city.